Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're talking about sports cards. And I have a sports card here, which clearly you can't see because of the horrible reflection. That's okay, I'm gonna show you in better detail in just a moment here. But um, this is something that I posted on Instagram, uh, I wanna say a couple weeks back. And uh, one of my in-laws saw the post, Elvio. He is my uh, wife's cousin, awesome dude. And he reached out and uh, he had this card and he sent it to me. And I thought that was really, really cool. I wanted to actually do a video talking about this. I was gonna look through my collection. I don't have much of a collection. I have like one shoebox full of just random sports cards, basketball, football, um, a lot of baseball mixed in there, uh, a little bit of hockey, and then some random stuff like Batman Forever. <laughs> just random cards that I had when I was younger. Um, but yeah, I mean, I had an album with all my you know expensive cards, all my good stuff. I have no idea what happened with that. I really wish just over the years when, when I was a teenager, I just didn't care about that kind of stuff. And I never thought, hey, you know, maybe in my 30s, I'm really gonna want that. Or maybe it has a bunch of value down the road. I probably gave it to some kid. I probably gave it to a friend or a neighbor or who knows what. I don't know what happened to it, but none of it's here. So what I have left is just some random stuff that never got, you know, thrown out. But uh, anyway, so long story short, uh, Elvio hooked it up. He sent me this card and now we're gonna talk about it a little bit. So this is a, I think a 91, 91 or 92, 1990, excuse me. A 1990 Mark Jackson card. Let me take this out of this uh, outer case. It does have a little protective sleeve anyway. All right, let's look at this in some detail here. All right, Mark Jackson on the Knicks 1990 basketball card. So what makes this card special? Why did I post about this? Well, if you saw my post, you'd know. Or maybe you just happen to know this. This is just an interesting random thing. But in this card, in the background, enjoying the game are, let's zoom in real close here, those two dumb looking fellows. Anyone know who those are? They're brothers. Anybody? They are the Menendez brothers. All right, Eric and Lyle. Now, if you're younger watching this video, you probably have no idea who these kids are. But this was a famous murder case. Both of these brothers had murdered their parents for the money, which is obviously extremely terrible. This is a, just a massive, massive case. They tried to kind of twist it and blame it on the mob, you know, but they ultimately got caught. And once it did get caught, then they went into the whole like, oh, we were sexually abused and blah, blah, blah. But it was just, it was a famous case, like OJ. You know what I mean? It was something that everyone talked about. So what ended up happening was in 1989, after they slaughtered their parents, um, they got the insurance money and they went on a spending spree. They spent over $700,000 of that uh, life insurance money. And one of the things they did was went to a Knicks game. So this is them enjoying a Knicks game on their parents' insurance money after they murdered them, which is absolutely horrible. It just so happens that someone was taking a picture of Mark Jackson uh, for this particular playing card, and there they are, front row seats, which were obviously very expensive at the time, and now it's just a little piece of history. So super, super fascinating. Um, when this was first discovered, these went on eBay, and they were getting ridiculous money. Oh, we got some good thunder going on in the background. It's been super rainy lately. We need it, though. Plants need the rain. So anyway, don't mind any background rumbling. It's not my stomach or I'm not farting or anything. It's <laughs> there's thunder, thunder and lightning. So anyway, <clears throat> um, yes, when these were discovered, they were highly collectible. They were getting a ton of money on eBay. eBay actually banned the sale of these cards because e eBay apparently has a policy that they do not allow the sale of any merchandise that is you know, related to a murder or a serial killer. It's just one of their, one of their policies. You know, so if you want John Wayne Gacy's tie or something, you can't really buy it on eBay, at least as per eBay's rules. However, they have rules and things slide past that all the time. In fact, all these years later, you can find lots of these on eBay. It's actually a pretty common card. And these go for, you know, in around 20 bucks, just depends on the condition, I guess. But so technically they're still not allowed for sale, but no one cares. Just one of those things. There's people, they might delete a bunch of these sale posts, but people are constantly putting new ones up. So whoever's in charge of deleting them, I guess they get lazy and they just don't care. But it's just such an interesting piece of history. How about that, the Menendez brothers? So if you're old enough to remember this case, let me know what you think. 
it's just kind of eerie. It's weird. It's just, I mean, it's just a basketball card, Mark Jackson, right? 1990 Knicks, but right there in the background, two murderers. After they killed their own parents, just enjoying a basketball game. No worry in the world, right? Before they actually get caught. So fascinating. So anyway, there you go. A little piece of sports memorabilia and sports history. Thanks again, LBO. I really appreciate it. That was uh, very nice of you. Like I said, I don't know if I even have this card in my own little chunk. I, I don't I don't feel like I do. It's just, it is kind of random though. Maybe I do. But uh, he, he hooked it up and sent me this one so I can make this video. So I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.